K-lines have been around for quite some time now. They're the little pods that you see being towed around different paddocks and they have irrigation schemes. But however, RX Plastics have now put some on steroids. Why? Because you asked for it. Over the last 12 months we've uh, developed a K-line family. Um, the standard uh, pod uh, had its limitations with only a 4mm nozzle. So uh, we decided that uh, they were getting just enough blockages that that was a problem. So we developed a, a bigger nozzle, went up to a 6.53. Um, and then that led us to believe that there was a market for a bigger nozzle. So we've now got two bigger ones uh, in there as well. Uh, so we have a 70 series, or a standard, a mid, and a, a 70 series, and an 80 series. This is for the distribution of effluent rather than irrigation water alone? Mainly, yes. Uh, whilst we've developed it for the effluent to handle the various uh, degrees of solids, um, people are using them for irrigation as well. Um, uh, particularly on uh, smaller blocks, uh, they just find it simpler to, to, to move one uh, big sprinkler. Um, and the fact that we've got them uh, in our pod that's completely in encased, uh, so if it flips over there's uh, no danger of breaking the sprinkler. And um, uh, in there, but yeah, no, primarily for effluent. So, with the effluent, it's all been designed to be as ecological as possible? Yes, all of our systems are low application rate, which is the key. Uh, and that's what we started off with the, uh, the smaller ones, but the challenges of the, uh, the solids uh, going through them we, led us to bigger ones. But we have maintained the low application rate uh, right across the range uh, to keep it within the limitations uh, of the regional council's um, resource consents. And once again, this is consumer driven? Absolutely, um, absolutely. Uh, uh, the market has come to us looking for solutions and uh, we've tried to uh, satisfy uh, their requirements. Availability, because you had to do the new moulds and everything? Yes, uh, we've had some challenges getting up to speed, um, but we are now completely up to speed and, and maintaining uh, production uh, and supplying out of stock, uh, um, for the time being anyway, until uh, some of our export markets might take off. I was going to ask you about exporting, because you guys are right into that. Yes, yes, and there's, uh, the world is watching New Zealand um, and uh, the internet's a wonderful thing and people are seeing our products and we're getting inquiries from all over the world. Uh, but at this stage, uh, the United States, uh, Australia and England uh, primarily for the effluent. Um, so uh, it looks like it's going to keep us on our toes in terms of uh, production. Actually, the distribution of effluent, is a, it's a major problem for all New Zealand dairy farmers? Absolutely. I mean, uh, it's a challenge. I don't know whether it's a problem. I personally see it as a bit of an opportunity. Uh, there's uh, a great value, a dollar wise, in um, the in the nutrients that are um, and the fertilizer capability of the nutrients. So if they can harvest that um, and use it, they can uh, save a lot of dollars. Generally, they'll pay back the uh, capital cost of a scheme within three years. You tell the story of somebody. Wanting to, or you suggesting that somebody give you their effluent because it was worth hundred thousand dollars? Well, that's right. Uh, I was on a property uh, in the North Island. We had three big ponds that uh, were overflowing into a waterway, which uh, the uh, regional council and Frontier weren't very happy about, and uh, he wanted uh, a solution. And his solution was just to get rid of it. And uh, so I suggested that if he wanted to just get rid of it, he could give it to me because uh, I calculated to be about $100,000 worth of nutrients, which I could sell and, uh, and recover the costs. Uh, at that point, he didn't want to give it to me anymore. Isn't that a lovely story? Not sure about that high shot looking down on the ball spot. That's not very flattering. That will be discussed. We've got more for you, though, on Rob's Country straight after the break.